If there is someone that you want to have a conversation with and it's a difficult one, ensure that you create the right conditions for that conversation to take place. Are you in the right place? Is it the right time? And is that person open to and ready for the conversation you're about to have? Secondly, be human. Be vulnerable, be empathetic, be clear on what you hope to get out of the conversation. Make sure that the person knows your intention so that there isn't any room for making up what the conversation is about or anxieties about where this conversation is leading to. Giving people that certainty does help you create the safety for the conversations that you're about to have. Thirdly, be aware of your own judgments and plan to put them aside as you go into difficult conversations. Go in with deep curiosity, ask more questions, listen more, and be prepared to visit the other person's perspective and get an understanding of where they're coming from. If you're providing feedback on a negative experience, communicate the impact on you, not the person's intentions. More often than not, you will find that their own intentions have not matched their impact. Be clear on what needs to change and build in accountability. How would you know when things are different? What would things look like when they are operating differently? And where the conversation is too difficult for you to have, please reach out, ask for support, either on how to have the conversation or bring someone in to facilitate the conversation for you. Not having the conversation is not an option. Whatever you do, keep talking, keep listening to one another and stay in relationship with one another. We are in difficult and unique times and I strongly believe that if we continue to stay in relationship, if we stay human and bring empathy into our relationships and listen more to one another, we will come out of these times stronger and more united than we've ever been before.